Preseason training has been going great. It's great that we're able to get them on campus early. So we get to get in a little bit of work before the season starts, but also for me to see kind of where everybody's at based on how their training was going and some people are coming back from injuries. So just to get in a, a bunch of consistent training and then we ended the preseason with a, a time trial on our brand new track. So we got to kind of see where where everybody was fitness wise going into the season. Okay, so on the men's side, we got a pretty good group of guys. Um, it's deep. I look to Jake Barrett to be one of the leaders on the team. Um, we also have a transfer, Spencer Cole, who I think will make an immediate impact. And then just some of our returners, Taylor Farnsworth, Hayden Chindler. Um, they all got experience and it's just going to be exciting to see what they do with some consistent training as the season progresses. On the women's side, I'm really looking forward to seeing how Isabel Pardue does this year. Last, she's a graduate student and last year was her first season with us on the track team. So we're really looking forward to seeing what she does on the cross country course because I know that she really liked that a lot in high school. So she, she'll, she'll probably be our top runner, but then our returners, Mariam Al-Naziri, Lauren Melstrom, looking to both of them to be uh, leaders and just some of the better runners on the team. And then we got a good group of freshmen coming in too. So we're really excited to see how they progress as the season goes. So cross country is a unique sport where not every week we're looking to run at our best. So it depends on the training for the week. Sometimes they're a little tired going into a race. So, so we're really looking to a few key meets throughout the season, probably the first one being down at Salisbury, the end of September. But these early season meets are kind of just getting used to racing again. And especially for the men, getting used to racing almost five miles now, when in high school they only did a 5K. So just kind of getting them used to, to racing farther distances and then just each, each week kind of going a little harder for a little bit longer. And then later in the season, come October is what we're really training towards. And as far as conferences, regionals, um, I, I really do think Isabel Pardue on the women's side has a good shot at finishing really high up in the conference and then also uh, has an outside shot at qualifying for nationals as an individual. We're really excited to have the brand new track and field facility over at Owings Mills East. We were able to do our team time trial on it last week and we will use it even though it's cross country season. We'll be over there at least once a week, sometimes more than once. And, we're really excited that we have our own space now and it's going to be exciting to host our first meet on it come the spring. 